Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? I hope everyone is ready to learn something new today. Let's do a little recap. Last class, you looked at animal size. And you know that now some animals are mm -hmm, big, medium size, yes, and one more. Some are small. Now today, we are going to look at animals and their body covering. Now body covering is what you would find on the animal's body. Today, objectives are, you would be able to identify different kinds of animals and also identify the body covering of those animals and state the body coverings of different animals given. Animals' body covering helps to protect themselves from the heat, which is like the sun, and the cold, which is like when it's raining a lot. There are four groups in which animals are divided according to their body covering. Hair or fur, scales, shells, feathers. Okay, we're going to look at the first group, hair or fur. Hair or fur helps to keep animals warm and protect their skin. Now, here are some animals with hair or fur. Let's look at them. Now, the first one there is a dog. Can you see the dog? Let's look at the dog. What other animal is there that has hair or fur? A bear. And what is that bear called? A polar bear. And there is a rabbit. And an elephant. But let's look closely at the elephant. Can you see the hair on his body? Look closely at him. Our next group of animals are covered with scales. Scales protect the delicate body parts of these animals. Now, before I show you these animals, let's think about it. What animals do you know that covers with scale? Let's think. Are you ready now? Let's see what animals are there, and then we're going to see if you think the correct thing, just as I did. So we have three animals there. Let's look at them. Good. Now there's a snake, a fish, and a crocodile. And those animals are covered with scales. Did you think of those animals? Great. Shells. Shell helps animals to live in water and protect themselves from other animals. Here are some animals that are covered with shells. Let's look at them. There's a turtle, a snail, and a tortoise. Have you ever seen any of those animals around? I show you did. Okay, our next group that we're going to look at are animals with body covering that has feathers. Feathers help to keep the birds warm. Now look at these animals that are there and see if you know any of them. Mm. There's an eagle, a parrot, a turkey, and a duck. All these animals are covered with feathers. Now question time. Do you have an animal at home? Do you have an animal at home? 
I guess so. What animal is it? Is your animal small, big, or medium size? What body covering does your animal have? Is it hair or fur, scales, feathers, or shell? What does your animal have that body covering? Why does your animal have that body covering? Why does it have that body covering on its body? What would happen to your animal if it doesn't have a body covering? What would happen to it? I'm wondering. Now we're going to do a fun activity. Now we're going to need a sheet of paper and your pencil and maybe some crayons or markers or paint. Draw an animal that you love on a sheet of paper. So you're going to draw any animal that you love. And then you're going to write if it is big, small, or medium size. Then you're going to draw its body covering on it. Then record yourself saying what your then record yourself saying what you have done and send it to your teacher. We looked at animals with different body covering. Some animals had hair or fur, some had shells, some had scales, and some had feathers. Don't forget to do your activity. And I know your teachers will be looking forward to those videos of you. Goodbye and see you next class.